Hello everyone, Ryan here. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. I recently saw this and it was pretty good. Uh, granted, I didn't know what to expect from it. All I knew was that it's supposed to be pretty interesting, pretty realistic. Uh, of course, it stars uh, Francis McDormand. Sam Rockwell and Woody Harrelson. Uh, Frances McDormand, she plays this mother who, I guess sometime ago, I mean, as far as like, I want to say maybe a year or so before this movie is supposed to take place, uh, her daughter, teenage daughter, was unfortunately kidnapped, I believe kidnapped her, uh, or at the very least taken somewhere and then by some unknown stranger well, I guess obviously they're going to be unknown if they're a stranger <laughs> by someone you know and uh, she was her daughter was raped uh, killed and and also I believe then her body was burned and which obviously is, is, is very tragic uh I mean, I feel like, you know, whenever anything like that happens, you know, definitely the law enforcement should get involved as much as possible. Uh, but there are a lot of times when they don't. And this is what this movie is mostly about. Because uh, Frances McDormand, her character, you know, I guess she's tired of the lack of motivation by the local police force to, you know, go out and, and try to find her daughter's killer, murderer, and uh, not only that, but just to find any kind of information that could be relevant or helpful or useful, and yeah, for whatever reason, you know, I guess, I don't know if it's because the local police department, because they were underfunded, or they just really don't care, or... <laughs> Because since it's supposed to be a small town, and you know, usually, I mean, I, I don't know. It's you know, I don't want to make a quick judgment, but I tend to feel like usually in small towns, it's most of the people living there, including the police force, tend to have this very laid back kind of vibe. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I'm just going off based off based on what I've seen in movies and TV shows, and, and also read about. That's, that's how the police force comes off in this movie. Woody Harrelson, he's supposed to be the chief. And, yeah, he just has this laid-back kind of attitude. Uh, and not until Frances McDormand, her character, she what she does is she rents these three billboards that are located somewhere outside of the town. Uh, and she puts up these three messages, which are just, just addressed to the police chief, uh, and, uh, just in order to get their attention, you know, and just to have some kind of constant reminder, letting them know that, hey, you know, she hasn't forgotten that they have yet to solve her daughter's case, they have yet to find any kind of useful information that could lead to some kind of arrest or some kind of suspect, <laughs> Uh, so then if only then, you know, because then it, what happens is it gets national attention. So then uh, a lot of the nat national news networks start reporting on it. So then the police chief, played by Woody, Woody Harrelson, he starts to uh, look into the case a little more, as much as he can. Because then it also turns out that uh, he also was recently diagnosed with cancer, some kind of cancer. And, uh, and of course, like, he tells Frances McDormand's character about it, you know, and she, but instead of giving him sympathy, she she pretty much tells him something, something along the lines of, you know, well, then you better get started on finding who killed my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I, I will say, Frances McDormand, she gives a, a really pretty powerful performance in this. Definitely, I mean, 
I, I mean, I haven't seen her in a, in a lot of other movies. I think, I want to say maybe I've seen her in uh, possibly like three or four other movies. But I know she had like, she didn't have like a big role, big parts. So in this one, you know, I found her, I actually found it kind of refreshing to see her, uh, you know, in a big role, like a leading role. Uh, because she definitely, she definitely delivered, I feel. And, you know, and not only that, and she, she also came off as though she actually did some research, you know, like enough, enough research so that she didn't come off as too, uh, too cheesy or, you know, I don't know, I guess in other words, the best way I could describe, describe her performance is like, she really gave it her all, so... And, of course, I always appreciate it when any actor does that. You know, they give it their all in any movie, in any role. So, yeah. And, of course, the rest of the cast in this are pretty great, too. You know, the, uh, the actor Sam Rockwell is in this. And I want to say he's supposed to be a deputy of some kind. Uh, his character is interesting, too. I don't want to give away any really any details but yeah he kind of goes through something as well and it's, uh and uh which ultimately stems from because you know uh him uh being frustrated trying to deal with the police chief having cancer and all that and uh but yeah still the entire cast gives awesome performances uh, I will say I kind of felt like the story was maybe lacking a little bit. Uh, but then I don't know, that could be because, you know, this this is supposed to be a realistic depiction of, you know, something like this, you know, a realist, realistic depiction of how, I guess, incompetent the police force can be. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to you know, things like this with murder cases and, you know, and they have very little to go on and, you know, yeah, actually, I, I would say this movie op opened up my eyes to that fact, you know, the fact that, I mean, I'd imagine that there probably are thousands upon thousands of unsolved murder cases and, and because for whatever reason, you know, either there was no, very little evidence or no evidence at all or, you know, the murderer, like, was good at covering, the murderer or murderers were good at covering the tracks, and uh, there could be many different reasons, you know, that the public just is ultimately never aware of, so, yeah, I don't know, that's what this movie brought out, that's what the, this movie ultimately it made me realize so and I feel like anyone who watches this ultimately would realize the same thing uh, the ending is decent uh, again I would say following in the same vein as the rest of the movie uh, it's as realistic I guess uh, yeah just I mean I don't want to spoil it it's uh, as far as the rating goes, I'm going to have to give this, I, I'm going to ha definitely have to give this a 9 out of 10, yeah. Because like I said, uh, even though I feel like there might be some, like the story itself might be missing, I don't know what, a couple extra details here and there, or, or <laughs> but you know, even if I were to ignore that, and just base it off of the perform the performances in this, and then especially Francis McDormand's performance. Yeah, that's really powerful. Uh, so that's why 9 out of 10. And, you know, I guess if the ending was slightly different, I probably would have considered giving it just a 10 out of 10. So, yeah. 9 out of 10. So... Yeah. If you haven't seen this movie, I do recommend watching it at least once. So, yeah. I mean, there aren't really, like, 
a lot of graphic scenes in it. So, but still, I don't know. I guess I learned. Te- I, I guess technically, it's not a family kind of movie, <laughs> but it's still a powerful movie nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, therefore, I would recommend it to everyone. So, yeah. So I mean, at least you know those who are of age, old enough to understand the plots, the the story. And, so, yeah. So that'll do it for my review of three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Yeah. Once again, I give a nine out of ten. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, until next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.